What's going on guys? Welcome back to Supero. It's early in the morning because we have some plans for today. Uh, a really cool thing. We got ourselves another Mustang in the family. Right here. This right here, 2020 brand spanking new, had like 20 miles on it when he picked it up. Brand spanking new. What's up, Neb? What up, man? Yeah. Is this super, bro? Yeah, yeah. Is this super? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so brand spanking new. Got the premium pack, so it's got the nice wheels already on it. Man. Are you showing more, bro? Just need. Oh, That's the best part. Oh, yeah, yeah. First mod, first mod to the 2020 Mustang. His name, Mort. <laughs> <laughs> That's King Julian on the jack stands. Oh. This Mort right here. So, yeah. But yeah, so we got, got some big plans for today. Um, today, we are. The reason that King Julian over here is on the jack stands is because we are about to flap these new wheels on um, but I gotta get these tires off of here put those two on two of the new wheels for the front and then got some wide 275s over here for the back that'll go on the new wheels so and uh, as I said I'd show it here it is the new wheels Ooh, and they're fat too. Yeah. So we're trying to get to Gerald's like first thing this morning so that we can, you know, they're always busy there. So the sooner you get there, the sooner you get your stuff done. We're waiting on Toby. He's the wheel carrier because uh, we got the little one with us today. So the little one will ride in the new Mustang and then the, uh, the Civic will carry all the wheels and tires and stuff. So, yeah. So, all right. Catch y'all when we get there. I don't think both boxes and the tires. Oh man! Can we just take the wheels out of the box? So we're trying to fit two sets of wheels and two new tires and a baby. inside. Yeah, we in a baby <laughs> inside of a, a baby. inside. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of a Honda Civic and a 2020 Mustang. This is hard. This is hard. Let's look at. Oh no, that's still not open. Let's watch. Okay, those wheels go in there. Look at this. The tire. The tire should go on. Woo! Oh wait, front side tire. So maybe packed. Oh yeah, it's the fat tire. Oh, uh, that doesn't look like it. Can it rest on top of this? Yeah. Like just like. Boop. Hey, it works. You got it. <laughs> you got everything. Everything in the Civic. Everything in the Mustang. Oh, it don't close? No, it's closed. Oh, okay, close. Ooh, ooh. Everything in that. You can take this off yet? No. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, uh, ASMR right here. There's nothing ASMR about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a baby back there. Uh, you can't see it. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. So cute. Oh my god, thank you. Alright, now we're now we're heading to Gerald's. So now we'll see y'all when we get there. Alright, we in the new 2020 Tico Boost Mustang. Yeah, and they've got yeah. No, he had he hadn't taken nothing off. Look at this. Still got the warning tag. I don't know. That means it's have you opened the glove box yet? Yeah, my uh document is Yeah, so, got the, it's a full premium 
Yeah, so you got everything heated and cooled. Seats. Yes, we like those. And you got the seven inch infotainment with the nav system. Or you got, does it have, does it's it come with nav or is it car just at CarPlay? Yeah. Apple CarPlay, okay. Yeah, no, it didn't come with nav. Right, okay. Yeah, mine didn't come with nav either. It's like, why you put a seven inch display? Yeah, in don't put nav again. That has a compass and then <laughs> like it's got a compass on the display. It's like, but you got no, no nav you don't on pay it. Extra for that. That's dumb, but yeah. So, but Apple CarPlay bypass that, no big deal. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically an app. Yeah, this thing's sweet, man. This thing is sweet. No GX 470. Oh, hey. You trying to race? <laughs> we are back from uh, Gerald's waiting on the wheels to get done there and we'll go back up there to pick them up in a little bit once they're done but um, yeah so what we're excited for y'all saw that we took these spaces off in a previous video from the Genesis yeah man because we were in anticipation of this day so here it is we're gonna slap these spacers on here it's the only reason that Nevin got these spacers for the Genesis because he knew they would that they would fit yeah. on an EcoBoost Mustang so yeah, we're gonna throw them on. One of the other projects that we're gonna do today too is hopefully before Gerald's gets done is um, Toby's got some some hazing on his headlights, so we're gonna fix that up. They're uh, they're pretty, they're all the way hazed out, <laughs> so that'll help his deal a whole lot. One of these days, we're gonna slap that little little turbo in there in that Civic. Have a little boost to Civic. We got one that only in park bin now. Yeah, we got yeah, we got one in here, don't we? Don't we? Is he in the bottom? <laughs> oh, he's all the way in the bottom. He's down there somewhere. Alright, we got a, a travesty here. These from the Genesis. We missed one little uh thing we didn't think about. Um, we thought the hub bore was the same from the uh, Genesis to the Mustang, but it's not 67.1 millimeter. This is not, this is 70 something, 70 millimeters. So this goes on, just barely doesn't fit over the hub. So you gotta put the stock wheel back on and order some new spacers to make that work. Yeah. <sighs> this is how it goes sometimes in this game. All right, wait a minute. We got, <laughs> um, we figured something out here because uh, we're going to jack this back up, get the wheels back off because uh, putting on the new wheels and stuff, I'm getting new spacers to replace these ones because the fender flares are going to be 2.7 inches out and these spacers aren't going to cut it. But these are the 25 millimeter spacers that this Mustang needs. I got to take these off anyways. So we're gonna take these, put these on Nevin's Mustang, and that way we can get this done today. And the new wheels will go on here and be fairly flush anyway, as they are, because the offset's plus 10. So instead of the, the track pack ones that I had, which were like uh, plus 38 or something like that. So the new wheels will look good on here without the spacers. And then I'll have new spacers to go on with the new wheels once I get the fender flares to go wide body. So that's the plan now. We're gonna do that and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Little one woke up, so. Hey baby. We got her in her super automobile too, so she's coming out here and work with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. She's like, uh. You wanna go drifting? Let's go drift, okay? Oh, there's a, there's a thing there. Oh, can we make it? Make it. <laughs> now from this angle. How's that, baby? Oh, the sun, sun right in your eyes. I'm sorry. 
Ooh, poke. Yes, sir. Ooh. And here's the stock, son. Stock. Where the wheel at? Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, there it is. Look how much it sticks in. It's gone. But over here. Yeah, it, it needs springs now. There's, there's no yeah. other. Now we gotta drop it. Yeah. Gotta lower it. But I feel like that's okay. what's gonna happen. Yeah, once you roll it back and forth a little bit, it'll drop a, a little bit. But yeah. There you go, more. Thank you, thank you, yeah. <laughs> Already squatted down. Just needed to let go of the brake. Oh, yes. Swap them. All right, now we're about to fix up Toby's car a little bit. His lenses that are hazed out. It's exactly like the picture. Uh huh. Yeah, they oh, bad. Why? UPS, you got my stuff? Oops. You got my stuff? Oops, got my stuff. Yeah, it looks exactly like the picture. Look at that. Yeah, they're bad. Boom. Well, it better look like and that picture when it's done. It, it better look like I this. I got some hurdle wax and did the fences and really just the polish with a microfiber. Oh, no, I don't like turtles. Okay. You don't like turtles? What kind of person are you? I got like salmonella. Yeah, you don't cook it. Do salmon yeah, stuff? So we're giving it a quick wipe down with some uh, glass cleaners. You know. All right, we done. <laughs> So, no, we far from done, Toby. It does look better just from wiping it, though. Yeah, so, they dirty, bro. She ain't been washing them, man. Give her a quick wipe down. You can see, like, the actual cracking in the lens. Oh, yeah. There. That's all that oxidation. See all the oxygen. <laughs> yes, Toby. You can see how the lens breathes. How it breathe, Toby? <laughs> <laughs> Not too well. <laughs> Not too well, he says. Well. Struggling. And then we're just gonna tape it off so that we can sand wildly and not have to worry about um, having to repaint. Which we'll end up. We could just repaint. <laughs> oh, we just plastic the whole car. Yeah, let's dip that. Let's just dip that. Just get rattle cans. Uh -huh. Hey, I've seen people do rattle can look, look real clean now. We might not be those people. But we might. We could be. Never know till you try. Yeah. I'm down to try. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, like next it. up on Super O, Toby's new car color. Rattle can. Rust Rattle can. Yes, sir. Hey, I'll do it. Uh, we should at least get like the electric paint sprayer. The high pressure low yeah. paint sprayer. Yeah. Let's see how that turns out. That way, we can, that way we can mix your color, whatever. We could do it when uh, when we do the fenders. Yeah. We're gonna chop the, the yeah, fenders chop, anyway, so. Oh, which so we, we gotta just, move your. Uh, yeah, we'll have to move, move the just the release, but that's okay. But hey, that means we get to just sand this down. Mm-hmm. Give it a little little rough up, and then. We can just uh, see what happens. Yeah. I'm down. What am I gonna do? Not like it? Do something else? You know, with some of my earlier cars, I did like, I tried to restore the lenses and stuff, but without taping it off. I would, I would try and do this without taping it off. 
and just try to be careful and stuff. And there are all these tiny little swirl marks <laughs> right here that I I didn't think that I hit the paint, but you can try to be as careful as you can. It's, it's so much easier to just tape it off. So much easier. You just leave the paint. The little helper's back from her nap. Wanting to help us. All right, so Tobes is over here getting this side. We finish one. Look at how clean and new it looks. Oh yes, that looks good. Looks like a brand new headlight compared to how yellow this is. So this is about to look like that too. So he's getting at it, but. He's using 1000 grit sandpaper right now to remove most of the oxidation and we got 3000 grit to clean up the scratches and then the next part is buffing it with this and a buff wheel and then sealing the headlight once it's all the way clean and dry seal it with this and you end up with that so nice fresh glossy looking lens. Looks so good. So good. I I what do you think? Yeah. Alright, we made it back from Gerald's. Here they are mounted. Bat boys right here, 275s. And we got some stretch. Stretch 245s. Okay, you're going on the front, so slap those up on there. Here's the old wheels. They are still nice. They're rashed up, but they're, they serve me well. They're good wheels. Yeah, we had to fill up the Civic and the EcoBoost to get these wheels home. But here they are. Let's slap them on. Oh my goodness. Got these wheels on. I cannot be more happy with these wheels. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, it looks so good. We're about to torque them down, but. Look at that. Oh, that's functionally fit right there. Functionally fit. Just look at from this angle, the, the concavity. Is that a word? Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. But oh my goodness, I cannot wait to pop these out some. Throw on those over fenders. Boop. This thing would be wide body. Oh my goodness. Sick. These wheels are just the beginning of that step. I mean, look at look at that shot right there. From that angle. Oh my goodness, clean. Alright, so with the wheels on, all the car needs is a little bit of a bath and then um Basically, tell me what you think about these new wheels. These new wheels are, <laughs> I love them. I cannot wait to go wide body on this thing. Like, it, they're already poking out a little bit, which is awesome. It, it's kind of a lot like my old setup um, with the with these wheels right here. And, uh, but just a little bit further, which I like a lot, but I'm ready for these to go wide now. So this is totally without spacers on it and so just adding some spacers to match whatever the size of the uh fender flares that i get is going to uh that's going to really set this mustang apart a little bit on its looks and stuff so i'm really excited for that and uh yeah so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these wheels and if you like the video like the video down below and if uh you like what we got going on here you want to see more of it make sure you subscribe to the channel Subscribing to the channel is going to help the channel to grow. Um, once we hit a certain number of subscribers, it'll keep the channel's growth running. Um, and subscribing like that puts it in front of other people's uh, feeds and stuff. So they see it, which also helps the channel to grow. So make sure you subscribe, like it, and then hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on more of this, what's going on with the EcoBoost. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Rose. <laughs> <laughs> um.
Yeah, so uh, she's dead. <laughs> you know, I was driving, making a little bit of a pull, just having some fun, checking the traction on the new wide tires, and it went boop, <laughs> and then <laughs> it just kind of stopped. So now the uh, engine's locked. So yeah. Pulled off the air intake tube, checked the turbo. I was kind of hoping that the turbo exploded in there and I was just hearing a bunch of fin, metal fins shooting out the exhaust. Turbo is perfectly fine, no shaft play, no nothing. Thing spins freely. So I was like, ah, okay. Um, yeah, then took a, took a big old wrench and grabbed the crank, tried to turn it over and it just goes and just like sticks go the other way and it just doesn't go so i went ahead try to turn it over start the engine and yeah doesn't do nothing so she's dead she's locked up she's done for <sighs> so uh we're gonna be we're gonna be uh gonna get a built block yeah yep i'm saying it now so y'all hold me to it i'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a built block I'm, I'm just doing it built block we're going, well. we're going 500 wheel <laughs> and uh, avoid it happening in the future. Yeah, so 500 wheels conservative for the big block, the built block. So that'll avoid, I'll be making more power, safer, and you know, it'll be all good. So, so we're about to push this thing. To push, about to push it up this we're about, road we're about to push it. and then, and then back down this road. Try to make it back to the down the road. Yeah. Try to get it to the church, so yeah, where we can leave it there, and then I can tow it home at some point. Yeah, and then uh, put it in the garage. Okay, okay. we got to clean out the garage. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, uh, we're finally getting to projects that we gotta do. I guess. Yeah, no, make one, us. Since this one's clean dead. the garage. <laughs> dead. Until we get that block. This one's dead. Yeah, so. it sucks. But you know, it's super opportunity, super upsetting. Yeah, <laughs> get this thing pushing, baby. All right, <laughs> I guess it is what it is.